Hey there crew, it's Mark Fig, and I officially cut my notebook collection in half, at least visually on my bookshelf. Do you think I'm gonna get rid of a notebook? When we recently did a remodel of our basement and I reorganized things, I realized that I had a lot more notebooks than I had shelf room for, so I knew I had to do something about it. Also, I feel like I'm starting to become a much more mature journaler. I know what I like, I know what I don't like, but why am I still holding on to the things that I don't like to use as much? Back in 2022, I did a video where I counted every single notebook that I had in my collection, and that count reached 144 notebooks, and that was in 2022. Since then, I've accumulated more notebooks, there's been a lot more sales, more reviews that I've done over time, and when I had to reorganize this space, I knew that I had to do something about it. Also, I don't know if you do this or not, but I tend to accidentally rebuy notebooks that I already have and it started to get redundant and I just started to feel like I had too much. So to counteract this, I wanted to do something that I recently did for all of my inks and my fountain pens, which was to actually go ahead and audit all the notebooks that I have and catalog them so I can easily figure out what I have, what I don't have and what I need more of. My first step in doing this was to actually go ahead and audit and catalog every single notebook that I had in my collection. That meant I needed to take every single notebook off of my bookshelf and any other shelf where I was storing things as well. And this ended up with me having a ginormous pile of notebooks in the center of my floor. My first step is going through and just making sure that I had all of my notebooks identified. I label a lot of my notebooks with a label maker, and this has been really helpful over time just to find what I have quickly at a glance. As I went through this process, I had to really think about, is this a notebook that I want? So I set up three piles for myself. Yes, I want them and they're unused. I might want these and know that these can be given away or stored away. The next thing I did is I went into Airtable. That's where I have my swatch book catalog that I already have for my fountain pens and for my ink. So I added a new tab. This new tab will be available for you today as well. If you wanna go over to the Airtable universe, I'll link the direct link for you down in the descriptions below. But I added a whole new section just for notebooks. I started my Airtable base pretty basic. I was looking just for a name, the brand that it came from, the size of the notebook that it was, what color was it, I wanted to include a photo of that, and then if it was part of a release. But as I got into this and started to add more things, I realized that I wanted some other information as well, knowing things like what the cover material was made out of, if there were any other qualities of this notebook that made it special in case I wanted to search for something like that in the future. And one thing I didn't think about was the paper type. Was this dot grid, blackout paper, rainbow, craft? Those are important things for me to know. Once I had this all set up, then it was just time to start entering them into my Airtable database. Like I mentioned, having the labels on these notebooks have been super helpful, especially when I started to add them in. But the thing is, is that I couldn't always remember where that notebook was from, especially for a lot of the Archer and Olive subscription box items. I didn't remember which subscription box they were from. So I had to do a lot of research to go back and try to figure out, did I make a video on this? Were these still available? I was committed, let me just tell you that. A really big part of having a visual swatch book or kind of a visual catalog is having a picture of the notebook cover. And that way, if I'm looking for something specific just by view, I could find that easily. The problem is, is that not all of these notebooks are available online. Some of them are older, so I had to do a little bit of a search to try to find them. So I went through a few different iterations of trying to figure this out, where I actually went ahead and took photos of all of them and I set up a little space for myself to do that. One of the other problems that I came across was that I'm color deficient. So while I was trying to capture some of the colors of the notebook covers, I wasn't doing a great job or I wasn't able to easily identify that, especially in the blue purples and the yellow green space, that's not my wheelhouse. So while I was going through and taking the photos of these notebooks, I was also using the color picker, finding like a CMYK value or a hex value, going into Google, trying to find some type of a name that gave me a good idea of what color this might be. So in one instance, while I was taking a look at this Monstera plant, I went ahead and just color grabbed a color, grabbed the hex code, typed it into Google, and the color that it gave me was ice cold. So I went back in, grabbed another color sample, and then tried that one again, and finally came up to something called whatever touch green. So now in my catalog, it is green. I don't care what color green, it's green. But after a while, that started to get very tedious. So I decided to go ahead and download a painting app that had a color matching feature on it. That was so much more helpful. I could just upload a picture that I was already taking for the notebook and adding that visual picture inside of my database and use that as a color picker. It just streamlined the process, made it so much easier for me. 
After a while of taking photos with my phone to bring them over to my computer to color sample them and resize them, it just got to be a lot. So I decided just to streamline it and just do it all on my phone. I remember that Airtable has a mobile app that I can use so I could enter in the details and take a photo all in the same session super easily. This whole process took me about two weeks to do from original setup, pulling everything off of the shelves, organizing them, cataloging them, and then deciding what to do with them. The thing is, is that not every single notebook that I have cataloged made it back onto the shelf. In fact, half of my collection, probably less than half, is actually displayed on my bookcase. The rest of them I had to sort through and decide whether or not that I wanted to keep them, donate them, or just get rid of them. For the notebooks that I wanted, but just didn't want to have out on display, I went ahead and created a new column inside of Airtable that was called Boxed, which means that I was going to take that notebook and it's going to live inside of a very specific box that I have in my studio, just put away and stored away. I also went through and identified any notebooks that I had, whether that I reviewed or just had collected over time that I no longer wanted. Those I could easily donate to Goodwill or potentially do giveaways in the future. To further organize these notebooks, I had to identify whether or not they are notebooks that have been used or not used. I also had to identify the ones that I had in use because I have a number of notebooks that I use for blogs and ideas and reels and things like that that are not in my full-time bullet journal. This whole process took about two weeks time, which was a lot of time, not because of how many notebooks they are, but just because I had to do this in small increments, either before work, over my lunch break, or sometimes in the evening, I would just get through a bunch of notebooks. But the process took time. I was identifying the notebook, the sizes, the details, taking pictures, identifying the color, and then sorting it where it needed to go. This whole process, while it did take time, I'm so happy that I did it for myself because I feel so much better about my collection. Anytime that I get a new notebook, because I still buy them, I still love notebooks, I can go ahead and just immediately put it into my catalog and know that I have it. Also, before a sale or before I buy anything else, I can go in and take a look and be like, okay, do I need another A5 notebook? No, I don't. I have 53 unused A5 notebooks in my collection. Also going through this process has really kind of made me aware now of what I have. I think when it was just sitting on a shelf or put away, I just didn't know that it existed or I wasn't paying much attention to it. Going through this made me realize, Mark, you might need to calm it down a little bit. You have more notebooks than I think you could ever possibly use in your lifetime. And because of the power of what I created inside of Airtable with this catalog, I now know that I have 94 unused notebooks that I'm not getting rid of in various sizes. My hope with this is that over time, I'll be able to be more responsible about my purchases, especially when it comes to notebooks. I'll know what I have and what I don't have. If there's something cool that I like, I can just buy one and be okay with it. Or if anyone needs a gift or a notebook, I have an entire stock. I can see what I have, what I don't like, what I do like, and what might work out well for them. As I mentioned earlier, this entire template is going to be available for you if you'd like to use it as a part of the Airtable universe. This will be connected to my fountain pen, ink, as well as adding this new notebook tab so it's everything all together. You can decide if you wanna pull them apart or change it if you want to, but I gave you the base to start with. It's up to you now to go ahead and make it happen. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below if this is something that you think you might be interested in doing, or if there was anything a part of this that maybe you think that I could be doing better, or maybe something that I haven't thought about. Maybe I need to add a new feature to that list. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And if you're interested in checking out that entire video where I cataloged my ink and my pens, I'll make that available for you right here so you can go ahead and check that out. As always, thank you so much for hanging out and I'll talk to you next time. See ya.